In this example, we want to find the limit of the square root of x plus 3x squared, all divided by 8x minus 1, as x approaches infinity. So what we need to do here is rewrite this uh, function um, uh, out, you know, in a different way, okay, using some algebra here. So looking in the numerator, okay, we have, uh, looking at the largest degree, we have x squared here, okay. So what we can do is we can go ahead and divide each term by x squared. Okay. But since x squared is underneath the radical, okay, so when we uh, we're going to take this and divide by we want to take x squared and divide it by everything, okay? But remember, x squared is underneath the radical. So when we take it outside the radical, we need to take the absolute value of it, okay? So we have 8x all divided by the absolute value of x because we don't know the sine value of x. So that's why we have to keep it. We have to keep the absolute value around, the, around x. Okay, so this is what our uh, function ends up to be, okay? So we're going to eventually take the limit, right? We want to take the limit of this, okay? All right, so let's simplify this first. Okay, so we have the square root of 1 over x plus 3 all over 8x okay, divided by the absolute value x minus 1 over the absolute value x. Okay, so then we're going to take the limit of this. So the limit of square root of 1 over x plus 3 all divided by 8x over the absolute value x minus 1 over the absolute value x. Okay. All right. So now, okay. So 1 over x, right? 1 over x is going to approach 0 as x approaches infinity. Okay. And since x is approaching infinity, so it's approaching, it's going towards, it's going to the right. So that means uh, for the absolute value, right, this is going to be, this part here will be positive 1, okay? And this term here is going to go to 0 because the denominator is getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so overall, okay, we are left with, okay, the square root of 3 divided by 8, okay? And so that is, uh, that is our solution, okay? All right, so that is the, that's one of the horizontal asymptotes that you see here in the graph, okay? All right, so it's over here, okay? So here's our function. As x approaches infinity, the graph gets closer and closer to root three over eight, okay? All right, so this is y equals to root three over eight, okay? All right, so now let's look what happen. Let's look at what happens when x approaches negative infinity, okay? So we can use the uh, same simplified uh, function that we have, okay? So the limit as x approaches negative infinity, okay? Um, so using the same expression that we had up here, okay, we have the square root of 1 over x plus 3, all divided by 8x over the absolute value x minus 1 over the absolute value x, okay? So since x is approaching minus infinity, okay, so this will still uh, this term still, uh, 1 over x still approaches uh, 0, okay, just like it did up here, okay. And so down, down here, as x approaches negative infinity, so that means, so on top, okay, this is going to be negative, but on the bottom here, okay, for the absolute value x, okay, this is going to be positive. So this is negative. This is going to be positive. OK. 
Okay. And this one, well, this overall, overall, this one is going to approach zero. Okay. So that means, okay, so we have, so as x is approaching a negative, okay, so that means for this term, okay, for this, for this part here, okay, this is going to approach minus one, okay. So we end up getting, okay, square root of three over minus eight, okay. Again, because we have x on top and the absolute value x on the bottom, so x is approaching negative infinity, that means x is approaching, it's going to the left. So, okay, so that's where the negative one comes from. Okay, so that's the our solution for the limit as x approaches negative infinity. Okay, so you can see that up here. Okay, so as uh, here's our function as x approaches negative infinity, this function gets closer and closer to negative root 3 over 8. Okay, all right, so that's our solution. Okay.